Hey! For those who don't know, my name is Halima. I'm a student and designer of fashion, and I want to use art to spark change. Changing myself, changing my community, changing the world. Style gives me an outlet to express myself. I love creating work that means something. I want to build a brand that speaks to the desire and hearts of young women, that produces clothing that allows them a means to dress themselves how they desire to and not how they feel they have to. I want to show the potential, beauty, impact, and power of modest fashion. I want to tell stories. One day, I dream of having children of my own. And I like to think that I will be conscious enough to tell them things like, there are certain decisions you will make in your life that feel as if they will change everything. The type of decisions that ignite something in you no one is capable of dimming, that remind you that you have a purpose. I told myself my junior year of high school that I wasn't going to go along with the plans I had to study law and go to college with my friends. No. I'm going to go to fashion school. I don't know where, and I may be alone. But this feels like a calling. Feels like destiny. Feels like God. Feels like a call I don't have a choice not to answer. So on this journey, choosing Kent State was one of those life-changing decisions. I wanted to go to a school that specialized in my major. Hey, college would be a sacrifice and if I was going to go for fashion, I wanted to go all out and make all the support, sacrifices, and overtime hours invested in my education worth it. I wanted it to be close to home. I've always dreamed of traveling, but the farther away, the more expensive, and hey, why give your dad a heart attack if you don't have to? Cost was very important, cause where I come from, college is a privilege. Financial aid is expected to apply for, and scholarships are not a bonus, but a necessity. Once I started researching fashion schools, I quickly realized that, uh, <laughs> hey, portfolios are very important things, and talent and skill in drawing and construction are a necessity. <laughs> I felt very uneasy and frustrated. I asked myself, how are you going to do this, and why did you even think that you could? You can't draw or sew. Wanted to soak in the memory of how early I knew I was passionate about design. Soak in all the moments I could have learned the skills necessary to be ready for these fashion school applications. But I couldn't get sucked into all that. Regardless of the lack of experience or preparation, I knew I could be a fashion designer. I knew I could do this. God told me that. But no matter how many times I told myself that, it seemed like everywhere wanted a portfolio. A portfolio I didn't know how to make and would probably set me back at least a year or more to gain enough skill to figure out how to even complete. Then I came across Kent State University. It was really close to home. It was on the less expensive side because it was a public university and it simultaneously managed being a public school with an incredible fashion design program. So it afforded this best of both worlds college experience with a real fashion school art experience. I love the curriculum of the design program. I appreciated how your freshman year you jumped right into your design classes. The application process didn't require a portfolio and I loved how that consequently afforded a girl like me with a dream but not a breathtaking portfolio the opportunity to train and study there a shot. I was in awe of the fashion library. In high school, I would spend countless hours in my local library scoping and finding fashion books to read and study from. So the idea that they had a library on campus solely devoted to just that gave me goosebumps. I was so excited. It was a fashion museum where my love of history and fashion blended right next door. There was a fashion school store where design students got to experience producing merchandise for sale and merchandising students could experience selling merchandise. They had several study abroad programs in places like Hong Kong, Paris, Florence, Italy, New York City. Having campuses around the world allowed an accessible international or New York City fashion school experience, even while attending a school in Ohio. I was excited about the serious nature of their required internships and how the students are supported in preparing for their professional career with great connections and a specific internship liaison. I love the products coming from the school. And then I finally had the opportunity to visit. My junior year of high school, I went for a multicultural visit day. I think the stars must have been aligned or something like that because of course my tour guide was a black girl like me, she was a fashion major like I wanted to be, and she was even from my home state. I learned that although I was willing to go to a completely unfamiliar new environment, no matter what challenges that would bring, there was a community of people who were willing and able to support me. Once I stepped foot on campus, I knew I was going there. I didn't need to visit any other schools on my list. 
I was in love. And when I say in love, I do not mean it was perfect. I don't mean that I didn't think I would encounter a lot of challenges. I just mean that I had a sense of confirmation that this experience was for me. That whatever would come as a result of this decision, good or bad, was for me. That it was ordained, that it would grow me in all the right places I specifically needed. I took up all of my other choices, and for the remainder of my junior year and all of my senior year of high school, I set out to prepare myself as best as I could for my dream school. I couldn't wait! And three years later, this school still never ceases to amaze me. Last year, we were ranked the top five in the country, and while I've learned that numbers are a limited definition, it's a very simplistic reminder that I attend a school that is constantly innovating, growing, and striving to provide not only the best opportunities in the country, but the world. Kent State's fashion school, Success and Story, resonates with me because it reminds me a lot of myself. The school is a reminder to me that spectacular things can definitely come from underrepresented, unexpected, slept on places. That you can make the absolute most of what you have despite the odds and still be competitive. That you should never allow factors that you can't control to define you. That you can shape your own narrative and accomplish whatever you will. I'll always remember this decision. I wanted to go somewhere that had an environment where the subject of my passion was center stage. Somewhere that would challenge me tremendously and bring together the type of talented students I felt were like myself. With no portfolio, no middle or high school prep, access to programming for my major, and no outlandish money to be in New York City, the dream of attending a fashion school like I had in mind began to seem far off. Until I met Kent State. And the rest is history.